right, guys, this is going to be an interesting video. I'm curious to really see your guys' perspective on this. I feel like I might be in a different situation than a lot of you guys as far as the fact that, like, I have a lot of skins, right? Like, I literally play Fortnite right now as a job. Like, this is my full-time gig. I'm, like, playing Fortnite all day. You know, I'm making videos. I'm doing streams. I'm doing all this stuff. So, for me, like, if you look at the item shop, I literally own every single item in this item shop besides this glider. And you know what? I'm going to buy it. No, I'm not going to buy it. It's actually kind of ugly. But I own every single thing here. Actually, I don't own this. What is this? Oh, never mind. I, I don't want to own that. But I own, like, literally almost every single skin. Like, I own, like, every skin that I've gotten since since I was able to buy skins. Or, like, since I started buying skins, I should say, I have on my account, right? I think that, like, I did a locker video not long ago and I added it up. It was about two to $3,000 worth of skins. I thought, why don't I make a video where I go over the skins I have in my account that I wish I didn't buy? Because there is some of them, right? There's definitely some skins that I've personally bought I wish I didn't buy, right? So some of you guys might be in the same situation. But a lot of you guys to probably like use the refund system and stuff like that if i go all the way over to the refund system uh sorry wrong place uh, if I go over here, you can see I have three of three remaining. So to me, I've always thought that like I, I would save the refund system so I like really, really, really needed it sometime in the future. I don't know when that's going to be if I ever use it, to be completely honest with you. But I want to go over my skins and kind of tell you which ones I actually use, kind of tell you which ones. There's literally some skins I bought that I've never used. I don't know if you guys have that, but like I guess what I want you guys to do like in this video right now, comment a skin down below that, that you have bought before that you really regret like one skin that you really regret your most regretted one and, and i'm gonna kind of unveil it here I, I i don't know what it is yet to be honest with you i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go in there and i'm gonna look at them and i'm doing this all live right so we're experiencing the same situation together let's go and take a look at my skins i'll show you guys what i use what i don't use skins that i've never worn skins that i think are hideous like you know what i mean that's what we're gonna do with this video if we can go for like 5,000 likes dude i need every single one of you guys that are listening to me looking at this beautiful face drop a like on the video right now also if you guys aren't subscribed guys we are almost 800,000, dude we're getting so so close if you guys could please drop a sub on the channel uh also join the notification gang dude you see it trending in every every comment section like noti gang noti gang noti gang like it's, it's just lit okay you should be a part of it but without further ado Let's get into these skins. Let's talk about it. Let's see what we got. Alrighty, so I'm going to start at the very bottom at my green skins. And let me actually move my webcam really quick so you guys can fully see what we're talking about in this video. That should be good there. So here we are. We're going to start at the very bottom, which is the Tower Recon Specialist. I have literally, I'm not even lying when I say this, I have never bought the, or used this skin once in my life. Um, I bought it because it was in the store. It looked cool. Uh, and it was only 800 V-Bucks. Uh, do I regret this one? Nah, I don't regret this one, to be completely honest with you. I've never rocked it, but it's not to say that I won't in the future. Now, these two skits here are actually really funny. Uh, we got the Star Spangled Trooper and the Star Spangled Ranger. Literally, both of these uh, skins right here, I have never worn. But I do not regret buying them because they're holiday skins. And I feel like you never know. Like, you literally never know which holiday skins could be rare. I think all of them are actually considered pretty rare. But I bought both of these just because they're holiday skins. Literally never worn them once. Uh, and... Who knows when I will. The Scarlet Defender. Once again, another skin I have literally never worn. I, why do I have literally first four skins on my list I have never worn ever? Um, I was streaming once. This was in the shop. The whole chat was spamming. Buy it, buy it, buy it. So I bought it. I think it's a cool skin. I've never worn it. I probably will someday. Now we got the Nightlight. I bought this skin and I don't really like using it because it is uh, it's very seeable. But I will say I made a video recently. Actually, you guys probably watched of me rocking this skin. I have worn it. Uh, the Light Show literally never used this skin. I did buy it just because it's like the set you know i want to have the guy and girl version um don't really regret buying it we got the jungle scout a pretty rare skin that actually became kind of unrare recently i bought this skin because it was rare uh do i regret buying it kind of i feel like it's not really rare anymore it's getting less rare every day because more people are getting it so the commando i actually this is one of my favorite skins that i have um cloaksy used to rock this a lot and i think he still does but it was a rare skin they recently released it back at the item shop i instantly bought it and well it's one of my favorite skins triple threat legitimately have never worn it i bought it because i thought that there was a chance it could maybe become rare i'd say i regret it survival specialist eh never used it probably regret it but it's kind of rare i think all these soccer skins you guys see i have a lot of them i would say i regret almost every single one of them like they're cool because there's so much customization but outside of that they're really not that cool of skins snorkel ops obviously one of the best favorite skins of the in the game uh shout out to dakota's you know, he's always pushing the skin. I like the skin. I don't use it much, but 
it, I'm glad I have it in my collection. I mean, this was the Battle Pass skin. Eh. Uh, Recon Specialist, pretty cool skin overall. Not disappointed by it. Already talked about the Soccer Girls. The Mutants Expert. I actually bought this skin because I thought it was really rare as well. Um, I have never worn it. I don't know if I ever will wear it, to be completely honest with you. I feel like I might end up using it. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, so far, I haven't, though. We got the Monker. The Monkier? Monkier? I bought this skin recently. You guys know this is a Season 5 skin. I actually really like it because the back, like, like, in the front, it's like, eh, it's okay. But, like, in the back, since it has all that design, like it's really cool to rock in game so i'm pr i'm proud of that skin another soccer skin jump shot i rocked a little bit just because it looks like lebron james but other than that i don't really care for the skin much but i'm glad I, I i wouldn't say i regret it. the bright bomber i had this skin back in the day when it was actually considered rare and uh it's still one of the best skins of the game but i feel like they've just recycled the skin so much in the item shop that it's like what even is the point like like <sighs> You know, I feel like it's way devalued now because they just brought it back and brought it back and brought it back. Uh, this skin was free. I think most of us have this. Pretty good skin overall, but I don't rock it. Battle Pass skin. Battle Pass skin, but I hate people that use this skin. Uh, the Wingman. I believe this is uh, the one from the second uh, the second starter pack. I have legitimately never worn the skin. So I wouldn't say I regret it, but I will say that I've never worn it. And I bought it for free V-Bucks. Uh, the Venturion and the Ventoria. I don't really like either of these skins, but I feel like it's good to have in my collection. Um, I honestly, honestly, think there's a chance now don't quote me on this but i think there's a chance that these skins become really rare as they were in the superhero you know like the omega like season four basically where it was all superheroes these could be maybe a season exclusive i don't know we'll have to wait and see the trailblazer um this is a twitch prime skin i like this skin a lot um and it was free so i mean i can't really hate on that technique really love this skin from a battle pass sun strider probably the hottest skin of the game i would smash i'm just throwing that out there Hopefully my girlfriend's not watching this, but she's hot. Just throwing it out there. We got the squad leader, which I believe is the male version of the Twitch Prime skin. Um, I like this guy a lot. Never used him, honestly, but he's a part of the battle pass, so can't say I regret it. Sparkle Specialist. I find this to be the most obnoxious skin in the game, but I have rocked it before. Um, I wouldn't say I regret it, but it's just there uh okay so the i'm gonna put these all into one class the investigator people now i bought these guys because i thought maybe they'd be rare because it was kind of like the end of season four um i bought some of these skins literally just because i thought they were going to become rare now are they going to become rare i don't know i guess we're gonna have to wait and see i think they actually re-released uh I don't think all of them, but they re-released the girl. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe they didn't, um, but uh, <coughs> I don't know, dude. We'll have to wait and see on that one uh, what really happens long-term with that. Uh, the Sledgehammer. This skin's really cool. Literally never rocked it, uh, but I think it's in the Battle Pass. Yeah, it's in the Battle Pass, so I don't really care. The Skull Trooper. I really regret buying this skin, dude. Screw you, Skull Trooper. I don't like you. Shadow Ops. Uh, I recently bought this one. Literally never wore it, but uh, it's a really clean skin, so I bought it. Scoundrel. Eh. Rust Lord, part of a battle pass. Rook. Where did this skin come from? Like, is, this has to be a battle pass skin, right? I think it's a battle pass skin. Rogue Agent. I actually really like the Rogue Agent. Ha haven't worn it in forever. Um, but I really like it. We're By the way, we're going to unveil, like, what skins, like, my favorite. I'm going to pick my top five skins in my armory, like, after I go over all these. So, so stay tuned, okay? We got the Red Line. That's, like, the male or female burnout. Never used it ever. The Rap Scallion. Eh. The, another guy. Ugliest skin of the game. Other ugliest skin of the game. Battle Pass skin. I don't know why she looks like that, but she, she, I don't know. Um, the Funk Ops. I really like the Funk Ops, but I don't wear it. Uh, Fireworks uh, Team Leader. Once again, a skin that I have never worn, uh, but I bought it because it's a July 4th item. The Elite Agent. Love the skin. One of my favorites. Uh, the Bright Gunner. Eh. He's got a good back bling. Battle Hawk. Part of a Battle Pass. Actually really like the skin. Uh, Bandolier. I actually really like the skin, but I haven't worn it in a while. Abstract. It's all right. It's all right. It, 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 it's different. Uh, we got Wukong. Never worn it ever. Bought it for the back bling. We got the War Paint free skin. Obviously, pretty sick. It's like it's like a poor man's Skull Trooper, you know. We got the Vortex. Actually, really like this skin. Don't rock it, but I really like it. Uh, I'm thinking maybe it could be a season exclusive skin as well. Um, Valor, yucky. Uh, the Visitor. Obviously, everyone has this skin. It's all right. Um, the Reaper, my least favorite tier 100 skin ever by actually quite a bit. Sky Stalker. Really don't like this skin in game. Uh, Rose team leader, really good skin. Obviously, most of us have that. Rex, uh, I like the back bling. I don't really like the skin. Red Knight, used to love it, but now every every single noob in every lobby has it. So, eh. The Raven, uh, actually not a bad skin. I like the back bling a lot, and I like the glider a lot. Uh, Ragnarok, obviously, dope skin. The Omen, actually really like the Omen. Omega, one of the better skins of the game. 
Uh, we got the Oblivion. Never really use her, but I got her. Moisty Boardman, I think might be a season exclusive skin. That's why I bought it. I never use it. It's literally hideous. Uh, the Magnus, I bought this skin for the back bling and kind of regret it because this skin's ugly and so is the back bling kind of. Love Ranger, literally never used this skin. Bought it just for the wings. I think there's a lot of people that can relate with that. Uh, the Fly Trap, eh, I don't know, man. I don't know about the Fly Trap. I think the fly traps like pickaxe is really I don't know the skin isn't that bad. Fates, I really like Fate. Fate's a really good skin in my opinion. Max Drift, woo, baby, that skin's really sick. I like it. Dark Voyager, disgusting. Uh, nope. Uh, crack Shot, one of my favorite skins. I love the Crack Shot. It's my only my only Christmas skin that I got, which is probably my favorite one. But I don't know. Uh, the Chomp Senior, it's a troll skin. Uh, the Carbide, I really don't like the car. I like you can upgrade it, but I really don't like it. Black Knight. Really, really good skin. Love the back bling and the battle hounds. Uh, pretty rare skin that got a little bit less rare recently. So, top five skins. I'm gonna give no order on this. Five, my five favorite skins in my armory. We got the crack shot. Um, we got the. I don't want to include like battle pass skins because I feel like I'm gonna do non battle pass skins, right? Like five, five, five favorite skins that aren't in battle pass. Like I would put like Ragnarok and. And drift and omega but i, I don't want to i don't want to do them i want to make it a little different okay so of all my gold skins i only got one in there okay o only one uh elite agent that's two really like the elite agent um obviously the skull trooper that's three i got two more spots two more spots on my starting five boys who's it's gonna be uh we got the commando that's four i need one more skin i need one more skin in my top five I literally can't think of one that I want to put in my top five. Uh, 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 it's so hard. I think I'm going to put, and I know I said no battle pass skins. I'm going to put the Black Knight, though, um, because it's not like an upgradable battle pass skin. That's what I meant by that. So, I don't know. They were my top five. Um, as you've seen, there were some skins I regret buying, some skins I'm really happy I bought. Let me know what you guys think. Like, if you guys have any skins, like I said, that you're really happy about or you're, you're not happy about. I might make one of the opposite, like, uh, skins that I really regret not buying. Uh, because, obviously, I played in Season 1, and there's a lot of skins I regret not buying. Uh, but, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want that video. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you guys smash the like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. And guys, without further ado, that is going to be it for me. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't. I think I just said that. I'm repeating myself, but whatever. Subscribe to the channel, okay? Turn the notifications on. Your boy's out.